Kathy Lee Gifford shares urgent warning after her hospitalization. Kathy Lee Gifford is an iconic American television host, singer, actress, and author who has captivated audiences for decades with her charm, warmth, and multifaceted talents. Born on August 16, 1953, in Paris, France, to American parents, Kathy Lee quickly developed a passion for the performing arts. Her father, Aaron Epstein, was a Navy officer and later an administrative professional, and her mother, Joan Cuddle, was a singer. Kathy Lee's multicultural upbringing and exposure to the entertainment world through her family inspired her journey to stardom. She would later emerge as one of America's most beloved television personalities, known for her wit, effervescent personality, and unwavering faith. Though born in France, Kathy Lee was raised primarily in Bowie, Maryland. Her love for performing became evident early on, and she quickly became involved in school productions, excelling in drama and music. After high school, Kathy Lee attended Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where she studied drama and music. Her ambitions in the entertainment industry grew stronger during her college years, and she soon left school to pursue a career in show business. Kathy Lee's career began with a modest start in the 1970s, working as a singer in various television programs and commercials. One of her early roles was as a vocalist on the game show Name That Tune. Her versatile talent and charisma shone through, capturing the attention of producers, which helped her land additional roles in variety shows and musicals. She also worked as a substitute host on The Tonight Show, where she honed her skills as a talk show personality. Kathy Lee Gifford's breakthrough came in 1985 when she was selected to co-host the morning talk show Live with Regis and Kathy Lee alongside Regis Philbin. This pairing became one of the most dynamic duos in television history. Their chemistry and rapport made the show a massive success, attracting millions of viewers daily. Kathy Lee's genuine laughter, candid storytelling, and ability to connect with viewers made her a household name. For 15 years, from 1985 to 2000, she was a familiar face in living rooms across America. Kathy Lee's openness about her personal life, particularly her marriage to NFL player Frank Gifford and her Christian faith, added to her appeal. She often spoke candidly about her family, balancing her career with motherhood and the challenges of life in the public eye. Her transparency and authenticity made her relatable to viewers who admired her as a devoted wife, mother, and career woman. Kathy Lee's personal life, often shared with her audience, has been marked by great love, faith, and resilience. She married Frank Gifford, a former football player turned sports commentator, in 1986, and their relationship became a significant part of her public persona. The couple had two children, Cody and Cassidy both of whom she adored and often spoke about during her show. Despite facing public scandals, such as Frank's infidelity in the late 1990s, Kathy Lee remained strong in her faith and her commitment to her family. She also faced personal loss when Frank passed away in 2015 at the age of 84. Her faith has been a cornerstone of her life, and she has always been open about her Christian beliefs, often attributing her strength and positivity to her relationship with God. Kathy Lee has authored several books that reflect her spirituality and commitment to living a faith-driven life, including The Jesus I Know and It's Never Too Late. These works explore her journey, the role of faith in her success, and her determination to live with purpose. After leaving live with Regis and Kathy Lee in 2000, Gifford took a break from television to focus on her family and pursue other creative endeavors. However, her love for entertainment and hosting brought her back to the screen in 2008 when she joined NBC's Today Show as a co-host of The Fourth Hour alongside Hoda Kotb. Their partnership was another resounding success, with Kathy Lee and Hoda becoming known for their lively, unscripted banter and camaraderie. Kathy Lee's ability to bring humor, sincerity, and warmth to the show once again endeared her to viewers. She remained with the show until her retirement in 2019 marking the end of another memorable chapter in her broadcasting career. Beyond television, Kathy Lee has continued to pursue a variety of other ventures, including writing, acting, and producing. She has appeared in several stage productions, recorded albums, and written multiple books. Additionally, she has embarked on a film career, producing and starring in movies such as Then Came You, 2020, 
a romantic comedy that showcased her storytelling skills and creativity. Kathy Lee Gifford, beloved television personality and former co-host of NBC's Today Show, recently shared an important message after experiencing a significant health setback that landed her in the hospital. At 70 years old, Gifford had already been in recovery from hip replacement surgery, a procedure many undergo as they age due to wear and tear on the joints. However, her journey to recovery took a turn when she suffered a serious injury, fracturing her pelvis, which led to an extended stay in the hospital. The experience was sobering for Gifford, as it underscored how unpredictable the healing process can be, especially for individuals recovering from major surgeries. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight, Gifford expressed her gratitude for the medical team that cared for her during her hospitalization. I am doing well. I am happy to be out of the hospital, she said, emphasizing the relief she felt upon returning home. She praised the hospital staff, acknowledging the excellent care she received, but like many patients who have endured long stays, Gifford noted, as lovely as all those people are to me, they really took good care of me, but there's no place like home. Her words echoed the sentiment that while hospitals provide critical care, the comfort of home is unmatched in aiding emotional and psychological recovery. Despite her positive outlook, Gifford acknowledged that her road to full recovery would not be swift. She shared that she had been undergoing rigorous physical therapy sessions daily, a necessary component of her healing process. Physical therapy is especially vital for individuals who suffer injuries like Gifford's, as movement helps prevent complications such as blood clots or muscle atrophy, both of which can occur when someone is bedridden for extended periods. They gotta get you up and moving. You don't want your bones to atrophy, Gifford explained, highlighting how crucial it is to remain active, even when it might be difficult or painful. However, she also admitted that the timeline for recovery remained uncertain. It can be anywhere from three months to, you know, just a month to who knows. I just have to listen to them this time, she said, reflecting on the need to trust her medical team and follow their guidance more carefully moving forward. Interestingly, Gifford placed part of the blame for her injury on her own actions. After undergoing hip replacement surgery, she began to feel significantly better, a sensation many patients can relate to as they begin to regain mobility and strength. However, this sense of improvement can sometimes lead to overexertion, and Gifford fell into that trap. This is what happens most of the time, she said. You think you are better because you are so much better, and then you feel like you are back to absolute normal, and you are not. Her candid admission serves as a warning to others recovering from surgery or injury that feeling better doesn't always mean the body has fully healed. Gifford pointed out that bones and other tissues often take months to heal, even if patients feel a sense of relief from the initial post-operative discomfort. Her injury occurred after a particularly busy day. Gifford had been promoting her new book, Herod and Mary, The True Story of the Tyrant King and the Mother of the Risen Savior, and spent hours at a book signing event. Reflecting on that day, she realized that she had overextended herself. I knew that night, when I went to sleep, I said, Kathy, you did too much today. You're hurting again where you haven't been hurting, she recalled. Even though she recognized that she had pushed herself too hard, she hoped that a good night's sleep would resolve the issue. However, the next day, despite the warning signs from her body, Gifford went on with her planned book signing, which she said went really, really well. But that wasn't the end of the day's activity. Later that day, Gifford had arranged to meet a friend for an afternoon out. While rushing to greet her friend and escort her out of the heat, Gifford made a critical mistake. As she hurried down a flight of stairs, she missed a step and took a tumble, which resulted in the painful pelvic fracture. On the way down, the stairs, and in my eagerness to get to my friend and get her out of the heat. I missed a step and I went tumbling, she recounted. The fall was a harsh reminder of the importance of pacing oneself during recovery, even when the motivation to help others is strong. Gifford's reflections on her injury reveal a blend of humility and responsibility. It's my own fault. I should not have been in a hurry, you know? What am I in a hurry for? She asked, highlighting a common mindset that many people fall into, rushing through tasks or obligations without fully considering the potential consequences to their health and well-being. Gifford's story serves as a cautionary tale, not just for those recovering from surgery, but for anyone who may overlook the importance of slowing down and listening to their body.
by sharing her experience, she hopes to inspire others to be more mindful, take the necessary time to heal, and avoid the pitfalls of pushing too hard, too soon.